Hey, what's happening? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And about a week and a half ago, I was doing some push-ups and I pulled a muscle in my pec. It was kind of like, you know, right in the center of my right pec. I just strained the muscle. And this is something that I've done several times over the years, uh, usually with bench pressing, right? I mean, obviously, bench pressing is, is the famous exercise for getting chest injuries. There's been more torn pecs because of heavy benching uh, than probably any other exercise. But um, again, normally it's from benching too heavy. You know, you're, you're pushing yourself, you're trying to set a new PR, set a new one rep max or whatever. You know, you're straining, you're pressing, pressing, and all of a sudden, oh, you feel something pop. And it, it's not always, you know, a, a full-blown pec tear, which it could become that, but, you know, but uh, sometimes it's just a strain. And again, normally I've done this, you know, throughout the years benching, uh, but a week and a half ago, I did it doing push-ups. And it was kind of stupid because I was just, you know, f farting around and I uh, just decided to do some push-ups. And I wanted to s see if I could bang out 50 push-ups in a row. So I just hit the floor, no warm-up or anything like that, because I didn't figure I needed it, it was push-ups, right? So I just hit the floor, and I was banging out, and I got to 40. And then it was just like, I'm 41. As soon as I went to, to press myself up, it's just, ooh, my right pec, just big, sharp, shooting pain throughout the pec. And it's, it's, I'm f familiar with my body, so as soon as I felt that pain, it's just, oh, stop. Right? I just stopped the set right there and then, because I knew what I had done. And uh, it takes a bit of time to recover from this. You know, a lot of people, when they end up pulling or straining something, they, you know, they'll take a few days off, you know, stretch it a little bit or something like that, and think they can just jump right back into their regular training again. And that is very rarely the case. Even something as minor as a muscle pull can very often take some time to recover. And like I say, for me, I'm going on two weeks now, and I'm still nowhere near back to doing a regular chest workout. I'm not even back to doing normal sets of push-ups. I'm still in that rehab mode because I know if I push it, I'm just going to restrain the, the previously strained pec and probably even strain it and make it worse. I mean, that's where a lot of injuries come about is when you are in that rehab phase and you end up re-injuring yourself and making it worse. So anyway, I know there's enough blobbing on here. I just want to kind of cover all bases. Uh, but some exercises that I've been doing, and you can do this anytime you've strained a pec is first off just some general arm circles. So I'm just going to try and see if this is zoomed out enough. Just some general uh, chest exercises like doing flies with just your arms, no weight or anything like that, just going through the motion. And uh, do regular flies like this. I do like a diagonal fly across this way just to help hit the pecs from a different angle. And again, all we're doing here is movement, mobility, stretching and moving the muscle with basically no resistance, only the resistance of the arms. And you can even do like arm circles. Try not to hit the power rack here. <laughs> arm circles forwards and back. And this is something that you can do on a daily basis. Uh, anytime you have a pull or strain muscle, you want to do some movement to get blood flow, circulation, and light stretching and mobility into that area. Now obviously you don't want to cause pain or discomfort, uh, but, so work within your pain threshold, but you still want the movement. Doing absolutely nothing and just leaving it and hoping that it's going to recover on its own is actually the slow way around it. Some light movement, circulating blood flow, and actually stretching and working the muscles very lightly is a faster way to recover rather than doing absolutely nothing at all. Uh, once you've been doing that for several days or probably a week and that feels pretty good, there's no uh, real aches or pains or strains, then you can do some modified push-ups. And this is the stage that I'm at right now. So I'm just going to angle that in by the power rack. Um, so what I have is, is the barbell is, is actually set up where I would normally use it for bench pressing. But instead of bench pressing, I'm just going to do push-ups against the barbell. And Doing your push-ups like this obviously cuts your body weight resistance. It's not the same as doing them flat on the floor because uh, the body's at a 45 degree angle, so you're only lifting a fraction of the regular weight that you would if you were doing a proper push-up line on the floor. So I'm just going to show you a few reps. 
And for these, I'm going to go really slow and controlled because, again, I don't want to pull or pop anything. But just doing high repetition push ups against the barbell like this. And I will do probably sets of 20 to 25 repetitions like that. And I find that it's very therapeutic. I mean, once you do multiple sets of higher reps, uh, you'll probably still get a bit of a pump in the chest, but it's not uh, straining the muscles, or at least you shouldn't feel strain in the muscles. If you do, then obviously stop and just go back to the, you know, the flies and the arm circles that I mentioned before. You don't want to do anything that's going to cause pain or discomfort. So obviously you want to stop before that. But that is a great exercise that you can do to help rehab a strained pec. Now, if you're doing this at home, obviously you don't need to have a power rack and a barbell. I mean, you can do this exercise uh, on a countertop, like you know, your kitchen counter. Just uh, do your push-ups against the kitchen counter or the bathroom counter, whatever. Uh, something like that would work perfect because, again, it's the same uh, type of angle and it's a modified push-up variation that will allow you to go through a full range of motion, still work the muscles, but only doing so with light resistance. So. Hopefully this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback related to this, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below. I will chat with you down there, and if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I will talk to you in my next video. Take care, over and out.